reach advantage with the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the O2 Arena in London, England, for UFC Fight Night, Blades versus Aspinall. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist, holy professional record, 17 wins, six losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Freiburg, Switzerland, presenting the number nine rank, light heavyweight contender in the world, Vulcan No Time, who's the bear? And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a big special artist, holding professional record, 16 wins, four losses, one draw, he stands. Six feet three and one half inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, fighting at a Cope Bridge, Scotland, presenting the number eight ranked UFC light heavyweight contender in the world, Paul Benju Craig. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Lucas Wasaki. But Beju wants to tear into Vulcan Erzdemir. Octagon official for this one, Rukash Basaka. He'll need to be on his toes. <laughs> Vulcan Erzdemir. Paul Craig. This a big one for top rankings in the light heavyweight division. Erzdemir pushes back. Paul Craig, who is wearing the blue. And this is where Paul has to be very careful. Can't get backed up too badly. Erzdemir's got huge power. Yeah, There's huge nowhere for power. You to go. It's trouble. Well, he's pulled guard. He's got his hooks on the legs already. He's going to try and build back from there. He told me he'd do so. Paul Any did a really way good. He has to do it, Michael. He did a really good job of getting back to his feet there as Uzdemir tried to escape or pull back. But look at that. He's relentless with the pressure. As I said, the man's fearless, but he does have to have respect for the power. Volkan Uzdemir is a knockout artist. But look, look, he, he just had this ability to control his opponents, legit jiu-jitsu. Tom Aspinall said that he was trying to hold him. No way. No, he's nah, gonna kick out. Too loose. Yeah, he's been training with Tom Aspinall for this fight, and Tom said, I'm telling you, the jiu-jitsu is extremely tricky, which we know. We don't need that inside straight Tom in the to know Is he trying to go for the street? Still looking for the heel, it looks like. Got to be careful. Uzdemir's doing the right thing. Pull that hand, control that. But with his left hand, that tee off on the face of Paul Craig. That is the thing about these leg looks, right? He's it's trying the, to shimmy his way in and get deeper on this. This is it. Oh, he's yeah. got it. It's pretty. He's going to roll to the left shoulder, but the fence is there. If he can roll to the left shoulder, he can do a lot of damage to that leg. Now for a knee bump, Shinsui. He's going to try and take the back. He's tripping him up. A nice job there from Ozdemir to get back up to his feet. This is where he's got to do some work. Yeah, a motivational moment there for Ozdemir. And that was a lot of energy he just used in that sequence. Grabbing hold of him, controlling him, applying leg locks. And again, look oh, straight back down. This is that heavy tie-up. Jamal Hill found out all about this one. Oh, oh, oh he's getting close. Very good defense Ooh, big from Ozdemir. From Ozdemir, but he's being careful. He's making sure he stays postured up. He doesn't want to overcommit because we've seen that in the past against Paul Craig, and he capitalizes. And he's so heavy-handed in close quarters, Ozdemir. Yeah, even those little shots you saw always snap the head back to Paul. But this is what Paul wants. He's got him tied up nicely now. He's a jiu-jitsu specialist. He absolutely wants to use his jiu-jitsu that's well, his route to victory. Absolutely, and he always does. And, and, and it is kind of cool to see a throwback kind of style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, where you know what you're in for. Yeah. But, he's but good luck trying to stop it. That's interesting. But Ustamir so far doing a fantastic job of staying safe. Ustamir gets back. 
to his feet. This is where he does his best work. Yeah, Uzdemir so far never really, he hasn't really let go with the hands yet. We haven't seen him throw anything particularly dangerous. To be fair, he hasn't had a chance because Paul Craig just keeps doing this. Yeah, he's being patient. He knows this is what Paul's going to keep doing. There's a nice shot. Nice elbows there from Uzdemir. And by the way, Paul Craig told me, he said, I'm never going to get a double leg on Uzdemir. He's so good at defending those, but I might catch something off of it and build from there. And you know, one thing that doesn't get mentioned... Oh, a little bit of blood. Uzdemir points it out. Is that Paul Craig has a chin because he's been in there with some absolute killers. And as we know, he often takes a licking and keeps on ticking. <laughs> but, you know... Yeah, took a beating for 14 minutes from Ankalaev and then threw up a triangle with the second left. With the second round. left. Oh, oh. See, bad it, spot for Paul here. Backed up against the fence. It's been a new look to Paul Craig's camp, led by Chris Bungard, who's in his corner tonight. But as Michael oh. was saying, he's been down to train with Thomas Manon. Mick Parkin, who's going to be on the Contender Series soon. So Uzdemir doing the right thing, calling him back to his feet. Of course, you don't want to engage with Paul down there. Paul's camp dovetailed nicely with Tom Aspinall's trying to work for Curtis Blades in perhaps some of the positions that Blades might try and put Aspinall in. Well, I don't think Curtis Blades is going to be rolling around for leg locks like this. I mean, you never know. I might be wrong, but history has shown that he will not. <laughs> There's a nice little left by Paul. Yeah. Oh, head kick. Big head kick. Ice, 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 ice.